Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the geofence on your automower. So what you want to do on most automowers is you want to come into the home screen here, go into the menu, so you can push the menu button, and you want to go here to accessories, OK, automower connect, OK, enter your pin code, and you see where it says geofence, come down and highlight that. And you want to check that off to make sure that it's turned on. Now you have sensitivity and you have new center point. So your sensitivity, if we go down to it, you got mid, low, and high. And what this is going to do is this is going to shrink down the, the radius, the area out, uh, I should say the... Uh, the distance that the mower can get from the center point before it just turns into a brick to conserve power to be able to keep sending you its location. So if we set this to, eh, we'll set it to low. And then new center point, we have it out here in the middle of our yard, so we're going to do new center point and hit OK. And there we go, it just changed the center point. So now everything's set up here. And if we go into our app, we're going to be able to see that radius uh, on the map in our Automower Connect app. So let's do that next. All right, got my tablet out here. We're in the Automower Connect app. We got the mower here, um, the status screen up for the mower that I just set that geofence radius on. So now we're going to get down here to map, tap on that, and there's the mower sitting out in the backyard. What we want to do is go up here to the settings icon. Looks like a little gear. Tap on that, and you can see here in the middle, geofence radius. We want to make sure that that is turned on. And there we go. That's our geofence radius, this blue circle right here. Once the mower gets outside of that, that's when she shuts down to conserve power, and uh, it's going to keep sending you the GPS notifications to let you know where it's at. So this is, um, you know, we set that to, I think it was high um this looks like a huge area because you got all this farmland here but i can tell you that you know this is in my backyard right here and uh right down here some relatives of mine live right down the road here and um that's like a mile and a half away going down the road here to that place so despite this looking like a huge area it's really not all that far that once it gets outside of there uh, it's going to shut down and become a brick. Now, like I said, uh, you can you can change the sensitivity. So when you do that, this this blue circle here would either shrink or get larger depending on what you have it set to. And once this mower again gets outside of here, it's just going to turn into a brick. So the big thing to remember with this is if you're going to take the mower somewhere, if you're going to load it up in your car and take it to the repair shop. You might want to turn that off. Otherwise, you're going to be going down the road and you're going to get to like right here. And all of a sudden, you're going to get all kinds of notifications because it's going to think that you're stealing your own mower. And then you get it, you know, way on up the road somewhere to a repair shop. And the entire time it's there, you're going to be getting notifications saying that it's outside of the geofence. As soon as they turn that thing on, it's going to set off all kinds of alarms and they're going to have to get the pin code in there in order to get it shut down. And he wants to do get the pin code in there because it's outside the geofence. It's going to keep going off until they turn off the geofence or set a new center point. If you're doing repairs on automowers, I would suggest not changing the center point. Just turn that off so when a customer gets it back home, they can turn it on and it will have the same center point. Uh, if you, if for whatever reason, it does get changed or you move to a new house or something like that, uh, as you saw in the menu there, you just take the mower out in the backyard and you can set a new center point, and then you can have this geofence area set up just like you see here in the map. So that's how you set it up on the majority of automowers. Now the all-wheel drives, uh, your 500 series, because they don't have the menu on them, they're a little bit different. So I'll get an all-wheel drive out here, and I'll show you how you turn on the geofence with an all-wheel drive. All right, so the all-wheel drives and the 500 series mowers, you want to set the geofence on those. We have to go to the app because they don't have a menu screen and keypad and all that good stuff on them. Uh, so we're going to go in here in the app. We're on the status screen for a 435X all-wheel drive right here. 
and we're going to get down here to more and we're going to go into settings now before i actually do that i want to show you here you want to make sure that you're connected through bluetooth because if you don't have a bluetooth connection you're not going to be able to access any of this stuff so up there we have a little icon showing that we're connected to bluetooth or through bluetooth to this mower now we'll get back in here to more and we're going to settings and we're going to go to security and we've got to enter our pin code and there we got our option for geofence so we'll tap on that and you want to make sure that that's turned on and here you can set your radius and you can see that's in feet so you can slide this you know there you go 656 feet from the center point you know all the way up to 3281 feet away from the center point so there you are that's how you set that now whenever you get whatever your distance you want you would hit save and it would save that now we'll go back here because you want to make sure uh if you haven't watched our other video you want to make sure that you go through and you connect to automa or connect as well with the 415x with the all-wheel drives uh with the 500 series mowers so if you missed that we went into we went into automa or connect so we're going to go into automa or connect under settings and it's going to ask you for your pin code which i'm entering wrong and here you want to hit initiate pairing because this is what's going to connect you to the mower through cellular data you know, otherwise you're connected through Bluetooth, but once you get out of a line of sight from the mower, you're not going to have access to all the different settings and um, the, the map for the mower. You're not going to know where it's at or what's going on. So you want to make sure to hit initiate pairing. It'll pair you up through, through Auto Mower Connect using the cellular data. And then you'll be able to get all of this stuff right here, pretty much no matter where you're at. These three down here will still require you to be within Bluetooth range and have a Bluetooth connection, but all this stuff will work through cellular. And more importantly, we'll get back here to the home page, the, the, the status screen. Uh, when you go into the map, it'll actually track then everything, keep it up to date through the app because you're using the cellular data. So we'll show you here. We'll go to settings and geofence radius. We got that turned on here. So if we back this out, uh, da, 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 there you go. We can see our geofence radius here on the map, just like with our, our 450X that I showed you. And um, again, you can go back into the settings here for the all-wheel drives, the 500 series, the 415X, um, you know, those mowers, and you can, you can change that around. Uh, same way with the, the other mowers, like I showed you, you can change the size of that too. I shouldn't just limit it to those. Um, but the 400, or I'm sorry, the all-wheel drives and the 500 series, you can change that distance through the app. The other ones, you can change the sensitivity right on the mowers, and that will change your, your radius here, as I explained earlier, with the other mower. So that's uh, the information about geofences and how to turn them on, how to change your settings, how to set your center point and all that stuff. Um, if you have any questions about that, you know how to reach us. Check out our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. That's where you can go for tech support, parts, accessories, automowers, all that stuff for, uh, for your automower needs. If you don't see what you're looking for on our website, send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, and we'll try to help you out as quick as we can. Uh, make sure to include all the information you can uh, if you're reaching out to us for tech support. You know, the model of the mower. Uh, whatever part you're looking for or, you know, what it is you're having an issue with, throw the serial number in there because a lot of times that's very helpful. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. You know how to get a hold of us now if you have any issues or you're looking for anything. And that's going to do it for this video here. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel.